Founded in 2016 by Abhinav Pathak, Saket BSV and Yogesh Gathurle, Papule aims to revamp the online shopping experience. The startup solution allows users to self-check out and self-order at offline stores, food outlets, malls and cafeterias, improving the overall experience for customers by ensuring shorter queues at checkouts and is also making stores smarter. One of our flagship products, Ultrapause, which is an end-to-end, platform-independent, uh, robust billing solution is what we are really focusing on at this moment. And we have arrived here after a lot of iterations and kind of pivots uh, to really get a product market fit out there. And I think Ultrapause is a product that is redefining how like commerce happens within these stores from a customer experience perspective and from a perspective such that the next generation stores which are data driven can really be built. Because if you see modern retail, it has changed completely in the last 10-15 years from the perspective of what the customer expects, how the stores look, the assortment they sell, the inventory they hold. But if you see from a technology perspective, the billing system they have been using has been the same for the last 10 to 15 years. Which is why I think this is the time to kind of change it, make it uh, cloud-based, make it a lot more accessible so that data-driven decisions can be taken and make it smarter. Like the POS also has to start contributing to uh, building really good customer experiences. Perpule's Ultra POS, a cloud-based SaaS product that is also platform-independent and form-factor-independent POS billing system, can be enabled anytime, anywhere. The team claims that Ultra POS has helped offline stores reduce billing counter size by up to 40% and even increase sales and revenues. So far, retail brands like Big Bazaar, Hypercity, Spar, More, Heritage, Vishal Megamart, Spencer's, Cult and KFC have bought in to Perpule's idea of offline billing and here's how it works. The Ultrapost software gets installed on the hardware that the retailer is already operating on. If they want to procure more hardware, uh, like the newer ones, the mobile ones, which are actually cheaper and more uh, user-friendly, they can order via our partners that we have kind of got to build this uh, entire hardware suit for. So you install Ultrapos on it, it works on simple uh, internet. So if the hardware has internet, you can just spawn up Ultrapos as a software and it will kind of take control of the entire hardware and start the billing application. Now in terms of how it operates at the store, I think when a customer comes to a billing counter, the cashier will start using the Ultrapos software. They will take some details from the customers. They will scan the items that the customer is like buying at this particular time. The algorithm runs in the back end. It keeps suggesting what else the customer can do, whether the customer wants a home delivery, home delivery or not. So it's an end-to-end -end, uh, billing system, what happens uh, at the store. And once the customer, all the items are scanned, the uh, cashier will take the payment via a card swipe or a cash or a wallet or UPI or whatever different modes of payments are available today. Once the payment is done, the uh, cashier will give a receipt to the customer. A digital receipt is also sent uh, to the customer via SMS in the uh, whole idea of saving uh, printed bills and saving paper basically from that perspective and going green. And there's more. The Perpule app also suggests competitive pricing of similar products during offline shopping. Last year, the startup also launched the Perpule Digital Cafeteria solution. As the name suggests, this is designed for cafeterias at corporate tech parks and food courts in malls and is currently being used by more than 20 companies across India, the likes of Infosys, Tech Mahindra, Uran, 247.ai, to name a few. While the startup was bootstrapped for the first six months, today we see players like Kalari Capital, Prime Ventures, Venture Highway, and angel investor like Raghunandan G of Taxi for sure are also backing the team. With enough capital sitting in the bank, the team has set an extremely ambitious target for the rest of the year. I think till December, the roadmap is strictly going to be work on the supply, literally get another 5,000 stores working on uh, the Ultrapos platform. And I think it's fairly possible because we already have most of the deals on the table. It's just about doing the integrations and rolling it out. So I think that's uh, what the focus is and it's a super ambitious goal. And we just want to focus on Ultrapause as a single point agenda to really run more and more stores on Ultrapause by December and then kind of scale it up from there. Maybe in the small businesses market, in the international markets and all of that. But post December till we have got a very, very good coverage of modern retail already on the Ultrapause platform.